guys, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete. I want to give you guys a little sneak peek at one of my favorite restaurants in Arizona, which is YC's Mongolian Grill. So I've been a young kid, I've been living in Arizona, and I've always come to YC's to get a really big bowl of stir fry. They have a lot of vegan options here, and today YC has given me permission to come in and film the process of me making the best vegan bowl of all time. Before we start, can you guys hit the like button and subscribe? Hit the bell button for me and turn the post notifications on, and give me a comment down below. Let's go inside. YC's Mongolian Grill has always been a way to get an awesome stir fry for a really affordable price. They usually have two options. They have the large bowl and the small bowl, but they also have an unlimited bowl if you're super hungry. I'm gonna get the large bowl today and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I build it. Vegan style, of course, it's the Vegan Athlete YouTube channel. The goal is to build it as high as you possibly can inside the bowl and then when they cook it, it cooks down and it tastes so good. Let's get started. The reason why I make videos like this is not because I'm getting paid. YC's is not paying me. I just love supporting local and I love restaurants especially because I love to eat and I love restaurants in town in my area that can give really good vegan options. If I make videos like this for them, they stay in business and selfishly I have a place to eat going forward. So when you first walk into YC's, pay them of course, and then you either get a large bowl or a small bowl. It's amazing how much food you can put in the small bowl, but today I'm going to get the large bowl. Then you walk over and you get a tray. Put the bowl on there and you just go down the row and build your bowl. Usually when I get to the end and they cook it, I tell them I'm vegan. Would you mind cleaning the grill for me? I tip them like three bucks. And they're really nice about cleaning it so that there's not a bunch of meat left over from the person before me. But they also have this little food allergy sign you can ask them for. You put it on your tray and when you get there to the cooking part, they'll clean the grill for you so it's vegan friendly. Please tip them though, because those guys work hard back there and it's hot. Now, I was 12 years old when I first began coming to YC's and we used to call it the shrinking meat place because when we would do meat bowls, the meat is frozen and when they cook it, it shrinks down. As a kid, that was amazing, I love that. Now I'm vegan and this is the Vegan Athlete channel, so we're not gonna put any meat in our bowl, but they do have chicken, beef, pork, and Alaskan cod. I always skip this part because I'm the vegan athlete now. So we're gonna move ahead to the vegetables. Before I start building my bowl full of delicious vegetables, I'm gonna use some of their spices here. For years, I forgot to put spices in the bowl. I just would put the vegetables and the sauces. When I started putting the spices in, it made the bowl taste so good. I do it every time now. Using the spices is an amazing way to make the bowl pop with flavor. All right, I got my bowl here. I'm gonna take some of the lemon pepper. Put some of that in there. I'm gonna take some of the cumin, put some cumin in there, and I take some of the Cajun, I put some Cajun in there. And maybe at some point YC's will name a sauce after me, but I'm gonna show you guys in this video the Jake Mace spice combination and the Jake Mace sauce that I use. That's my favorite from my bowl. Now this video is very important for those of you that might come wandering in to YC's to eat lunch or dinner. It's gonna be a how to stack your bowl like a pro video, okay? When I first began coming to YC's, the owner Jeff and I used to talk about business and about YC's and about food and everything. And he used to always go around to every customer and encourage them to build the bowl higher and to put more food in it. He was so spirited about the bowl stacking and bowl building abilities at YC. So I'm gonna to try to show you guys how I structure my bowl to get a lot of food in there. And then you can buy a to-go box from them for 50 cents and you can take the excess to-go for a meal later. On top of my spices, I'm gonna add some tofu. This is my vegan protein. The other super cool thing about YC's is they're adding more foods and more veggies all the time. So I'm gonna add some of these potatoes they have here. I'm gonna reach across and grab some of the butternut squash and put some butternut squash in there. Just a shout out to YC's. Look at this spread. YC's always does such a great job keeping this spread beautiful and clean. And they put a lot of people through this line. And so if you guys can do them a favor and tip them when you get to the grills and say thank you through your tip for always making it look clean and nice. Recently they started carrying the edamame. I'm gonna put some edamame in there. I love that they have this. It's one of my favorite things they have at White Season. Now here's one of my secrets. We're gonna go ahead a little bit. I'm gonna go over to the mushrooms and put the mushrooms in at this stage of the bowl stacking process because they always seem to fall off at the top and I make a mess. I'm gonna put them in right now. And I love mushrooms. Then I'm gonna take the broccoli here 
and put it on the tray just for a second. And then what I'm gonna do is, if I get down where you guys are, I'm gonna use the broccoli to make this bowl look beautiful and put it around the edges, like so. What I've done with the broccoli is I've used it to kind of make my bowl a little bit higher and have a better infrastructure. Okay, now we're gonna throw some onions in there. And I'm gonna throw in some of these chives or green onions. The zucchini is also really good, and if the zucchini is cut like this, we can take it and kind of tuck it in around the edges as well so that we're not wasting valuable real estate inside the bowl on the zucchini. I know I'm thinking about this bowl stacking way too much, but hey, you guys are good at some things in your life, and for me, I've chosen to become a PhD of White Seas Bowl Stacker. This is like my dissertation right now. And it's looking beautiful so far. We're gonna add some color to this bowl by putting some orange carrots in there. I love the baby corn, so we're gonna add in a scoop or two of the baby corns. Whenever I eat these baby corns, I think about the movie called Big with Tom Hanks, where he ate the baby corn like this. If you guys have seen that movie? If you haven't seen that movie, go rent the movie Big with Tom Hanks. I'm gonna add in some kale. And it's okay to stack these beefy greens because they're gonna cook down a lot smaller. And whenever I'm in the line at YC's doing my vegan bowl, there's always somebody next to me doing like a meat bowl. And they don't realize that you can get protein from vegetables too. So I wanna encourage you guys to always eat your veggies. So live longer, you'll live healthier, and the animals won't have to die. I'm gonna give the bowl some crunch by adding in water chestnuts on top of the kale. And so far, if you notice, I have not made a mess so far. I always feel so bad when I drop food or make a mess at White Seas because they work so hard to make it clean. So I try to be a clean customer. And so far, I'm doing a pretty good job. Nothing has dropped outside the bowl yet. So when you're at White Seas, see if you can be cleaner than me. White Seas is always getting healthier. Every single month, they offer something new and healthy. They have liquid aminos now, like coconut aminos. And they also offer kohlrabi noodles. Noodles made of kohlrabi, they're shredded up. Look at that. That looks like noodles, but that's actually a shredded up vegetable called kohlrabi, which is in the broccoli family. I grow lots of kohlrabi in my garden, purple and green varieties. So you guys, if you guys grow kohlrabi in your garden, try to make it into noodles like White Seas is doing. Okay, at this point, my bowl is looking beautiful, but it's all veggies at this point, and some tofu and some spices. We gotta add the noodles. And the noodles is like the Medusa hair on top. You know Medusa has all the snakes on top of the hair? This bowl is going to have all the noodles on top. And they have four different kinds of noodles. They got the classic wheat noodles, the udon noodles, the rice noodles, and the kohlrabi noodles. We already got some kohlrabi. The rice noodles are very, very delicious. And for those of you that can't do gluten, do the rice noodles. And what I do is I put it down like this, and then I twist it, and I spin it. And if I do that, it tends to all kind of stay on the top pretty nicely. It's like a little bit of a twirl. I'm going to get the classic wheat noodles. And same thing, a little bit of a twist. I push down a little bit. They also have tissue paper. If you want to use tissue paper to push down, that's a good choice. I washed my hands before this video started, so I'm going to just kind of center it like that. And I have made a bowl much higher in the past. I'm going to go a little higher today for you guys, but my goal today is going to be delicious and aesthetically pleasing, not necessarily for height, even though you could stack noodles as high as you want it. Okay, we're gonna go to the most important part, the sauces. Every time I'm at YC's, one of the employees comes up to me and says, hey, need any help with your sauces? And I'm always like, nope, I got this. They have some sauce combination ideas behind you. The menu board above says two of this, one of that, three of that. And you put that many scoops to build that sauce. But I'm gonna do the custom vegan athlete sauce today for you guys, so check it out. What they started doing recently at YC's, which I think is fantastic, they put a little V on the sauces that are vegan. So the orange, the sweet and sour, the curry, the spicy Hunan, 
the garlic, the ginger, the cooking wine, the syrup, and the vinegar. Those are the vegan sauces. I never usually use the syrup because it has so much sugar in it, but I do the other sauces. Even though the syrup will make it taste really good, I usually try to leave the syrup out and do mostly the garlic, the ginger, the spicy hunan, and some of the orange. So years ago, YC's would just have you pour the sauce on the bowl directly. People who didn't know how to stack it, it would all run off the bowl. So years ago, they started doing this one, and I love that they started doing this because it's much cleaner for me to build the sauce in this extra bowl. So the vegan athlete sauce combo for today is gonna be two scoops of the orange. It's getting to be orange season in Phoenix, so you gotta eat those oranges when you can. I'm gonna do three scoops of the spicy hunan. I'm gonna do two scoops of garlic. Come check this out. I'm gonna do a scoop of the ginger for that kick. And then I love the cooking wine. So I'm gonna do two scoops of the cooking wine. And that's the vegan athlete sauce combo for today. We combine this sauce with the spices, with the veggies. This bowl is going to be fantastic and then included in the price of the food for one price you get to have a drink and rice and soup and pineapples cilantro jalapenos peanuts if you guys keep watching for the next like five minutes you'll see i'm going to add a lot more to this bowl coming up okay ever since i was 12 years old coming up yc's i've had one fear and that's the restaurant will be crowded and i'm going to at some point trip and drop my entire tray i've never dropped it yet okay guys working hard in the summertime here in Phoenix it is hot back there because it's 120 outside and it's hot by that grill so definitely give them a tip all right guys now my bowl is cooked check it out same bowl three minutes later we're gonna add some stuff on top they got this beautiful spread of pineapples Cilantro. I love it spicy, so I'm gonna add in some of this fresh jalapeno, the diced jalapeno. And then extra protein, and I do not have a peanut allergy, so I'm gonna do peanuts. Then I love that YC's carries sesame seeds and they put it all in a really nice compartmentalized system where it's easy to get fresh stuff. And the fact that everything is so well organized and the infrastructure is so good at YC's, everything stays really clean as well. There's some sriracha. There we go, there's my finished bowl. I'm gonna take this over to my table and get a drink and some rice, maybe some spicy mustard, and then we'll sit down with YC's Mongolian Grill and ask them some serious questions. All right, I'm gonna grab some rice, brown rice or white rice, and my dream 
my dream for YCs is one day they'll have a vegan soup. Okay, they got all the typical fountain drinks. They also have some really good iced teas. I'm a sucker for Arnold Palmer, so usually I come on over and I do some pink lemonade. I water it down a little bit. <laughs> That's just me personally. And then I'm gonna grab some of this fresh brewed tropical passion tea. Make that lemonade tea Arnold Palmer. I love it. All right, I got my lunch all ready to go. My stir-fried drink, rice, and wontons. Let's go have a seat. Let's find somebody from YC's and ask them some serious questions about why I like this restaurant so much. All right, you guys, I'm here at the Kyrie and Elliot YC's location with my friend Miriam, who works for YC's. Yeah. And I'm gonna let you just kind of take over my video here while I enjoy this delicious food. <laughs> One of the things I love about YC's I always have is that no matter how long the bowl sits there for, there's always pockets of heat underneath the bowl so like I can lift it up and the steam just starts to pour out oh yeah it's great it's a beautiful picture but it's even greater to eat you are vegan correct I've been vegan for uh, my 17th year oh wow yeah okay that's since awesome. I was 19 yeah yeah tofu itself is great because it'll absorb whatever sauce you choose and, and some of your noodles that are really vegan friendly like the kohlrabi noodles the rice noodles the wheat noodles and all of your sauces have that V on it now yeah exactly. I was gonna ask you like why are you guys being so proactive in labeling things with a vegan, is there really a market for that kind of labeling within the restaurants? We wanted to reach out to people who have allergies and where they find it's a little difficult to have a variety of in their diet. And so I have a lot of families who go into other locations and you know they have kids with gluten allergies, dairy allergies, and right. this is just a great place for them to come and eat their vegetables. Like a family of five can get options for everybody. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And ice cream at the end. Yes. So which of the ice creams are vegan and which are not? Uh, the vanilla is the one that's gonna not be vegan, so that one's gonna have dairy in it. Okay. Um, but then our raspberry, our mango, our chocolate, um, those are all vegan. And so we do have our nutritional facts like up above our, nice. our frozen yogurt machines to definitely like whether you want to go vegan or not. Uh, and the flavors are great. Yeah, if I don't eat all the bowl, I can take some to go for 50 cents for a to-go box. Yes, so we don't get to control the portion sizes here, uh, which is the fun part because you get to kind of play with your food a little bit before you eat it. And back um, in the day when I first began coming to YC's as an adult, yeah. uh, the owner Jeff used to walk around and encourage folks to stack it higher oh, yeah. oh, and yeah. build them more. Okay. Definitely, and we still do that. You want to pile it up high because you want to watch it shrink in the grill, and that's, yeah. the, that's the awesome part. Exactly. Uh, so we do have boxes that we, we like to provide for 50 cents. Um, and you could go get up as many as you'd like. As long as it's on the bowl, it's going to get cooked for you. So. I find if I take it to go box home the next day, and all the sauces have been cooking in my fridge, it actually tastes better. Oh, okay, nice. I think so, yeah. <laughs> I always suggest to, when you're you know, kind of heating up your food again, to put it in a pan, throw a little bit of water in there, and it really like just brings all the flavors back. My personal suggestion. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Unfortunately, our soups, though, they aren't uh, vegan. I made a note earlier in the video saying, it's my dream one day I'll come in, there'll be like a vegan <laughs> soup. Yeah, we did actually try vegan soups for a little you bit. You did? We did. What? Um, I didn't see it. Just, those weren't as popular, unfortunately. Okay. So, you know, we try to keep around things that are people are going to continue to get. Well, so. next time you want to try it, call me in. I'll do a video about just the soup. Oh, yes, definitely. I promise. <laughs> so, when I first began coming to YC's, I was like 11, 12 years old. And I had just moved to Arizona from Canada. Okay. And I was playing a lot of baseball, and we used to always come to YC's after baseball games. As a kid, I loved white seasoning. I was not vegan when I was that age, but you would pile the food up and then the meat would shrink down. And as a kid, that blew my mind. Yeah, no, it, it still blows my mind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so and I'm awesome. sure for kids, it's always fun to see it cooked right in front of you. Yep, we but, have a kid's meal, so I'm sure. What does that mean? So it's, uh, there are smaller portion bowls, but uh, it's 55 cents per year of age, under oh. the age of 12. So okay. it goes up to there and it includes the soup, the rice, and the drink, just like the adult meal. Uh, and there's also comes with the frozen yogurt. So that's, nice. what, that's how we get the kids. Uh, and they get to put in their meat, their veggies, their noodles, and they get to you know add their own sauce. And that's that's really great, because then the next time they come in, they want to make their own bowl and their own sauce. And so yeah. that's, that's the fun part. And they want to just, they're just eating so they can go get ice cream at the end. Yeah, <laughs> so they'll eat all their vegetables. They have to eat sure. all their veggies in order for them to get their food. And you guys always have a great like a layout that's so artistic and beautiful that the kids probably respond to those colors yeah. because your structure over there is so good the kids probably eat more vegetables that looks so nice yeah and it may seem like a complicated process but in reality it's so simple because you're creating your own bowls so yeah. 
we love to help out first timers and we walk them down and we tell them, you know, these are your 14 to 60 different types of veggies that you can choose from. Definitely pile it up. You know, we encourage that for sure. You guys have how many locations around town in Arizona? Uh, we have five locations uh, throughout the East Valley. Uh, so starting in Scottsdale and then we move down kind of to like Tempe and then we have a Chandler and Gilbert as well. So five locations. Are you ever going to go out of Arizona or just stay in Arizona? Uh, we'll see. We're, we're working on the West Valley for right now. Uh, but those will be in a couple years. I do have to say, I went to Mongolia in 2004. Okay. And I was really disappointed that I didn't see a white seas there. Because <laughs> it was a lot of cheese and a lot of goats and a lot of meat and that's it. Yeah, the concept does come from Mongolia though. So the uh, Mongolian soldiers back then, they used to cook on their shields. Oh, and wow. so that's the whole idea of the grills and why they're round. So the grill uh, back there is a shield. Technically, yes, for all those YC's warriors. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot, I like that, YC's yeah. warrior. Yeah, that's what we call you. Who is YC? Is YC's a Mongolian warrior or just the name of the person that created the restaurant? You know, uh, I think in everyone's eyes, he's definitely a warrior, but uh, he's just an average Joe, just like everyone else. But he was he one holds of, chopsticks like yep. behind us right there. <laughs> Those sticks, the warrior sticks. Well, I love that I have my vegan athlete channel so I can do videos like this in my favorite local places because selfishly it keeps you guys hopefully around for the next year, the next year, yeah. the next year. And I hope people come into YC's, any of the five locations. Where are the five locations? We have one in Scottsdale up in the pavilions and then uh, we have the Southern and McClintock store which is the original uh, YC's. In Tempe. In Tempe. And then we have the Kyrene and Elliott location in Tempe as well. We have one out in Chandler on Gilbert and Jermaine. And then we have one out in Power and Ray for the folks out by like Queen Creek and like Superstition. You know, that one's a lot closer to them. <laughs> awesome. Well, if you guys are in the Phoenix area, any of those locations, stop by a YC. Tell them that Jake Mace, the vegan athlete, sent you. Try to do a vegan bowl like the one you saw here today. And I'll post some tips down in the description and comments below for how to be vegan friendly at YC's. Thank you, Miriam, for Thank you, Jake. talking on camera yeah, with me. And of course. Looking forward to seeing you more in the future when I come to the, the great YC's chain of restaurants. Yes, of course. <laughs>